Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. This week I am going to work on this 47 year old hutch. It is part of a set that I did in my prior video, this dining room, chairs, and table with water damage. And oh by the way, I lost this footage for my video and then found it, so I needed to show you. This is the table and here is all the water damage. As you can see, it's very surface level, level, nothing is peeling up, but it very much changed the look of this table, which is why I was called. So if you wanna look at this video, go ahead and take a look. I'll put it in the um, info section of this video, but this is what the table looked like after it was sanded, and then here is the sheen after I got done with it. So water damage is gone. And then here is a reminder of what the final product looked like. But back to the matching hutch. Here she is. She's dated. The color of the wood is just not working for her. So today I'm going to do something I normally don't do, which is black paint. I'm gonna go to my go-to, which is the farmhouse paints in black noir but I don't use a lot of black. So it doesn't allow for, uh, it shows a lot, but I learned this along the way. So I'm gonna do two coats, two coats of black covered up. This wood gave me great coverage. I taped off the spaces since I'm doing two-tone, taped off the spaces to make sure I kept the black paint in the spaces that it was supposed to be in. And this piece was in really great shape and had great bones. It just needed a little update. So I taped off the two glasses on the side, but you'll see me right here ripping out that plastic insert that holds the glass in. A lot of pieces like this, you just kind of unzip the plastic insert and pop out the glass. And then when you want to put it back in, it just kind of pushes back in like little buttons. So don't get overwhelmed if you see this. It's a very easy taking out and putting back in. And it makes painting a lot easier when there's not glass. The next step is sanding down the final paint layer with a fine grit steel wall. And what you're doing is kind of evening out the paint. And because this paint has the top coat built in, you're kind of buffing the sheen so that when it cures, there's like a hardened protective coat. So I'm using this steel wool to go around the edges, bring out some of the wood grain. Now I'm giving it a good clean to get rid of all the steel wool dust and was hoping to kind of activate the paint by getting it wet. It didn't do as much as I wanted it to, so I came up with another solution. I took the paintbrush that I had been using all day and dipped it in some water just to water the paint down and did another layer and quite honestly it looked like this cloudy haze of chalky watery paint and it kind of dried like that which did a good job of disguising the brush marks I was trying to get rid of but after 
I buff that out. It is a perfectly imperfect look. Um, it looks pretty much like I wanted it to. And just a reminder to look around your house or your parents' house and see these pieces of furniture that are built really well and just need a coat of paint to give it another 50 years of life. So that's the end of this week's video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this transformation and thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again next week. Bye!